Trawler Crawl is a great way to meet veteran trawler owners and learn all about the trawler lifestyle. And on occasion, you'll hear a great story or two. Trawler Crawl is, is crawling from one boat to the other. Um, getting together with the people, seeing the people, you know, I've been doing this maybe six, seven years now. When people open up their boats to uh, allow you to come aboard. See, yeah, we've seen lots of folks, that, just folks we didn't expect to see here. Yeah. It's like a pub crawl when you're trawlers, you know. People that just kind of dropped you know, in. and some of the boats have a lot of history. We're at Trawler Crawl because we want to see all the wonderful trawlers around and share boating stories. And uh, the Trawler Crawl go, uh, the officially goes between 3 and 4, but at 5 o'clock is the cocktail hour. And that brings me to the point of the, of the Pink Flamingo. Um, this Pink Flamingo has been on board for 40 years. The original owner uh, would light the, the Pink Flamingo when it was cocktail hour. So um, it was highly visible from, uh, uh, from uh, other boats on anchor. and. They would get in their dinghies and they would come over and they would have cocktails here. Are you trawlering or crawlering? Um, later on we'll be crawlering, but right now we're trawlering. And we're we're boaters. We're more down in uh, in Ever Marina, uh, but we live in Redmond. We'll spend a couple of months this year going around the west side of Vancouver Island, and. Uh, Hopefully we'll meet you on the west side. I hope so too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm Mac from uh, McCroskey from. I, I live in Vancouver, Washington, but I live on my boat. I, I winter in San Diego and go to Alaska in the summer and hit all the trawler fests so far. Oh, I just about didn't make this one. Anyway, so the story. Yes. Diesel stove works great. It's, it's simple. It's efficient. Takes some tweaking. Too much valve, too much soot. One time we were on an island at a little marina and uh, went to bed and I thought I did my best of adjusting it. Woke up in the morning, the deck was covered in soot, like black snowflakes. The neighboring boat was covered in soot, <laughs> black snowflakes. So we just <clears throat> got out of there before they woke up. It was... <laughs> no, 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 I can't, I can't go there. <laughs> oh, this sounds good. No, no. And uh, they had a fellow on board who was had, was quite heavy, and he decided to go on a diet. And he went on a liquid diet, and he started drinking all their liquids on board. And they were getting worried, but um, nobody wanted to go to shore to get more. I'm not advocating this, but if you have to do it, the way to do it is to get a uh, a battery operated kitchen timer. It's got to be battery operated because if you just wind it up and let it ding, you're going to sleep through it. You set it for 12 minutes. And uh, and then the man became ill and they had a doctor aboard La Siesta. So they brought this man on to um, La Siesta and they tried to minister to him but he died on board. Because that's it takes 25 minutes for a freighter to get to you head to head at sea. So you put your head down for 12 minutes, get up, check the radar, check the engine instruments, and then look out the window. And you do that, five and a half days, you're in Port Angeles from San Fran. So they had to, the sailboat racers were ahead of uh, schedule and, and ahead of the, in the race. And um, they wired back to Hawaii and said, what shall we do with, with dad? You ever hit anything yet? No. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> and uh, what they decided to do was rather than try to take this um, dead body into a Mexican port and explain to the to, to the Mexicans <laughs> why they had a dead body on board, they thought it might be better. Um, and also the, the family back in Hawaii said, well, let's just have a burial at sea. And it was just this shotgun spray of black gnarly oil. And we backed over the dinghy. And I'll hear Clint pitter-patter up here and he's like, <laughs> I think the boat is so perfect if he didn't have some little quirk. Yeah. No, I'm not going to go into that one. <laughs> so they took an anchor chain and an old sail and they had a ceremony and they timed it precisely with the, they said we'll do it at such and such hour. Um, and uh, with, so the family in Hawaii had a, uh, had a, um, a ceremony at the exact same time and then they deep-sixed him. So there, there's a, a pretty good trawler. You bet, you bet. <laughs>